Titus Tribute with Golden Relic. That's so insane. Mech Murloc Naga Quill. Probably not Jandis here. So take it as her holiday. Probably holiday. Early four for Trolley and Sporbat is pretty good here. Now that they moved Sporbat to four, which I'm not against, a tier four can just be a very good source of spells. Nagas are in. So I could hero power and hold apples. Or we could just like play a surf and surf. But it's a beast plus Naga lobby, so this thing is insane. Plus I get an extra gold, plus I take less damage, it's yeah. a good battle, friend. Still pretty good to put a minion on the board. Oh. Fucking two damage mummy. <laughs> That's so specific, but yeah, it's okay I guess. Any defeat that doesn't destroy you makes you strong. Great! I can bring in more powerful minions now. Yeah, beasts just get, the numbers are just too big. Like, the way how Goldrun works now, when you look at it, it's really Banana Slamma that's the culprit. Because without Banana Slamma, you would still have that immunity to Venom, you'd still have a decent mid-game, but your guys don't turn into, you know, 700s, 700s when you spawn. I guess that's the thing, right? Banana Slamma just makes it too easy to, to have these insanely large numbers. Which, as a beast board, you probably shouldn't have. I might roll here. So. It's not bad. Yeah, I think money roll. Could also double coin here for something. But. Could also go shell collector coin. Ooh, that's actually not the worst, right? Get Mercules here. I'm gonna hold this in the hand. Yeah, yeah, that's probably better. I want the, uh, <clears throat> I want the Naga, I want the Beasts, but if I don't have to roll for this, that's pretty good. I worked out. This feels like it's just getting played and no buff this turn. I could Reckless Investment to buff something here, but that's way too short term thinking. This probably gets used on tier 4. I think the Mercules was just a 5-2 that gave plus 2-2 two, two to a shield, and that's a good deal. That would be good, right? If we would buy that from the shop, 5-2 Battle Cry, give plus 2, plus 2 to your shield, would be like, yep, that's really good. So we're just gonna treat it as such. Oh wow, that's a fun start. It's good for us as well, take no damage. Yeah, that's really bad for the next opponent. <laughs> Uh, here I might level Cell Shell Collector for a spell, and then Reckless next turn. So we have to ask ourselves, how much damage are we not taking if we put Pants on this guy? Because I don't want to untaunt. I want to have taunts for Trolley. Honestly, I'm going to keep it in my hand. It feeds Conductor, and I don't think I'm really healing for much. And then next turn we can use the Reckless Investment on 4 to get the good cards and potentially go to 5 after, but depends how much money we make. Yeah, 2 turns on 4, I'm pretty sure. Minimum. That's decent because it adds more units to the board. I go Rylak actually. A good tactical choice. Now you could untaunt the um, Anoyo because you want the Rylak to die instantly for the fairy tale buff. I'll still buy the Forger over the two three I think. You 
are not out of this yet. You could put the Rylax in your hand for Mercury's the buff. Yeah, but that's not good, right? All oh, right, I get a card there. That's interesting. Your minions really pulled their weight. My tier, but I'll see what's in the box first. I think Gurgle's not awful. Maybe I'll just level first. Yeah. Alright. Bream counter might just be better though. Bream counter allows me to just play hoarder, sell hoarder. Play hoarder, sell hoarder, hero power. This will pull this and I still get my two murlocs. Virtual growth, sure. That's a um, interesting board. This is really just going with the flow. The game is putting us in a position where we have Bream counter and Murloc generation, so... And because we picked the, the Dire Muck, we actually pull it out of hand. Oh no, not my right luck. Zip! Another Hoarder. Buff the Hoarder. Buff the Bream. Cool. Yeah, this is a really, really flexible opener. Like, I did not force any strategy here. We're just like, hey, I want to go to four, I want to get Trolley and Beast, but the game was like, how about a Rylak with some Primal Fin? I was like, okay, we'll do that. Not leveling this turn. I think I'm actually kind of okay going for the other Rylak. Opening up the triple and then either commit Murlocs or pivot. Don't hate this on a Murloc. Not the strongest, but it'll fight hard. I would like to get attacked. I guess I'll just do it on the Skyfin. Dragons are out. So. Nice. Alright, Reborn Rylax probably still better. There is a Sporebat though. Do we just run a Sporebat as well? Need to dump all my Murlocs. This is worse than Belcher, I guess. I guess I can't really run Sporebat, right? I'll give a. Oh, I can't keep the Rylac. Hmm. Could also run two of those. I think I'll just sell Mercules. I have to do it like this then, right? I think you can That's a weird one. Oh no, now I pulled Forager, maybe. I thought I'd solved it. Mm. Alright, lucky. Yeah, Forager is really fucking weird. Like, you can't keep anything in your hand. Because it's not just Murloc. In that regard, base skill is so, so much easier to work with. Because normally I would just keep the second Rylak in my hand. I wouldn't really want to play it. I would just want it to... Um, to be able to triple it later. But it's too early to really uh, put it on the board, I'd say. Yeah, that's a bit annoying. Alright, another Bream. Another Bream would be good. We only healed for one by high rolling that. It's funny. Titus Tribute is nutty. Base skill is fantastic. Can evolve the rest. Unless I could sell the Tads as well. See what we got here. I 
I don't think I'm gonna go for beasts from here. No brand or anything. There we go. So I don't need this guy anymore. We need to empty our hands. should be up more, I guess. Yeah, especially with Titus online. <laughs> That's so insane. What the fuck? Dude. Titus tribute with golden relic. What's tripling? A swamp striker, okay. Hey, we didn't die. Probably wanna level now. Dump this cash and get the the Murloc that grows for your hand size. Nice. Another Titus tribute. It's good to have. I don't know if it's good to play now. Okay, rolls are fine. Phalanx is not needed. So how much is this giving me right now? Trigger it twice, so one, two, three, four. So it's eight without the tribute. But the tribute is insane for this. So maybe tribute in the hand. I want another um, Bream here. Okay. Go ahead and hire one of these I keep that on the board. How long is he dead? Oh, I killed him. Okay. I guess the answer is I can keep you on the board. I do have to dump a crap ton of Murlocs though for board space. Alright, we're just gonna have to dump all this shit. I'm keeping the Belcher. I shouldn't have sold the pair, I think. Titus is not really needed, right? I get eight already. No, oh, it's funny. Chicken? It's not needed. Bram. Bran will freeze. Twenty twenty on, I guess a base skill. Maybe Bran. Yeah, put on Bran. So now I even miss one Murloc. That's fine. No, oh, Bream number two. Thank God. It's funny how we just don't need the Titus, right? <laughs> it just gives me so much already. The Titus puts it to 16 Murlocs. Titus tribute, 32 Murlocs to the hand. Imagine if there was no hand size limit. Start your turn with 32 extra Murlocs in your hand. <laughs> the Bream is like, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, Alright, so I cast the tribute now, so this pops in my hand, right? yeah. then I can sell it. Another 2020, end of turn, yeah, take a 2020. Alright, so let's get rid of this. Just need to throw some Murlocs away. I might not care about the brand, I really didn't get that many battle cries. 
Oh, I can force Golden Brand. That's probably worth. All right, I gotta go. throw one of these for sure. I should have held it one more round, so that's fine. I need this on the board, right? I have Titus Tribute online though, so I pull it. I can end on it, I guess. Oh. That's weird. What's Carl? Yeah, I should buy Carl for sure. Carl's good for me. Murky Merc, I pivot, right? Yeah, especially with base kill board space now. Golden base kill Titus Tribute, bam. Yeah, it's perfect Golden Murky because I can play both the regular Murkies, right? So I pull the Golden Belcher to the hands. I pull the Golden Base Skill to the hands. And then I have uh, buffs. <sighs> Get the fuck out. Let's see, these are all outs. Murky hits the board. Murky here. Murky there. Go big or go home, I always say. I need another uh, Murgul, maybe a Drakari stick. Get the shop, sure. I wanted to uh, drop another one, but it's probably too greedy. I could put the other Murkai next to it, but the Carl is so big. Oh, backspace bar, thank you for the six. 
appreciate that. Yeah, it's a pretty insane Merlot game that we were able to set up. I guess the right play is just sell Murkai. Am I holding another one? I'm not, right? It's gonna hold a Murgle or something. That's a great this guy is okay, but... Brand, I wanna do better. the syllabus still. Hmm. What is the murky for? 30 plus 60 plus 60 end of turn buff. He's like us without the golden brand. Funny. Guess with golden brand, this is still okay. Right? Yeah, Might sell out of both here. Probably needed that other guy, but it's fine. Probably double Coral was better. And sell the Murky. Yeah, double Coral and sell the Murky. That's fine. That's a tough turn because we had just endless value. It's crazy. That one shop was so sick. It had a primal fin and the panda in there. That was crazy, right? It looked like that golden brand was gonna be a throw, and then you just realize, hey, golden brand on Murlocs is uh, pretty good. <laughs>